seriously obsessed with this shirt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this look right here. This is my New Year's Eve makeup look that I wanted to do. I'm so happy the way it turned out. I'm obsessed with this eye look. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off with this new strobing cream that I got from MAC. Uh, it's just called Strobe Cream. And this is what it looks like. I used it yesterday and it definitely gave my skin a glow. The one thing is it smells terrible. It smells kind of like plasticky, if that makes sense. Um, or like fishy. <laughs> it's terrible, but uh, it definitely does give a nice glow. My skin is super red because I did just wash my face, so that is why it is red. Okay, so while I let that settle into my skin, I'm going to move on to eyes. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Minor Sin Primer. Um, it's just a little tester that I got. It kind of has like a champagne uh, shimmer to it. Now because it's a New Year's Eve look, I want this to look as glowy as possible so that's why I want to use this eyeshadow primer. So for eyeshadow today I'm going to use the Modern Re Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to start off with the color right here which is called Tempura and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Then for the crease I'm going to go in with Bon Fresco. Now my brush still has some of this Love Letter eyeshadow from the last time I used this palette. I probably should have cleaned it, but I didn't, so it's probably going to have a mixture of the Bond Fresco and the Love Letter. So I actually decided I'm going to put some tape on my eyes um, just to give it a nice straight line. So I'm just going to put it on my palm slash wrist just to kind of get rid of the stickiness away so it's not too harsh on your skin. Then I'm going to go back in with the color tempura and kind of blend that in a little bit so there's not a harsh line and I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Then in the corner of the eye I'm going to go in with this color right here which is called Real, Realgar, Realgar and just put that right in the corner. Then with a flatter brush, I'm going to go in with the color right here, which is called Vermeer. And put that all over the mobile lid. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow that I got from MAC. Um, this is called She Sparkles. It's one of their Dazzle Shadows. And I'll show you what it looks like up close. It's a nice silver shimmery color. And I'm going to go in again with a really flat brush. Alright, so that is it for my eyes so far. And see how I take it off and there's like a perfect line. So I'm going to use a little bit of a primer. I'm using the Marc Jacobs uh, Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Primer. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks, uh, mainly in this area, um, to try and blend in some of the pores.
and I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead as well. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Outlast Stace Lumis Natural Glow Foundation. This is in the color... This is in the color Classic Ivory. Then to blend in the foundation better, I'm going to use my oval brush from my makeup brush set and I'm going to blend that in. Then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I just realized I missed one important step. Um, I forgot to put my concealer on, so I'm going to go with my NARS Vanilla Concealer. Then I'm just going to go back over again with some of the powder and just set that in. Now for bronzer, I'm going to go with my Tarte Park Ave Princess. And I'm going to blend all that in. For blush, I'm going to go with my Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in the color Peach Beach, and it looks like that. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. It's just a translucent powder, and I'm just going to swipe it along the jawline. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just kind of make it a little bit more of a sleeker line. For highlight, I'm going to be going with the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Alright, so for my lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with the color Bon Fresco, which is a very small, thin brush. And then with the color Ver Vermeer, I'm just going to go and put that in the inner corner and in the inner corner of the lash line lower lash line and right into the inner corner of the eye. And I'm just going to put a little bit 
under the brow bone or on the brow bone. For lips, I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is from um, my makeup brush set. This is in the color 16. It is the long last long lasting lip gloss. Okay, so my camera decided to be a jerk and stop filming uh, just I was finishing my makeup look. So I just wanted to let you know that after I put on the lipstick from my makeup brush set, I went over with this Kat Von D Started Kiss lipstick in the color Lovecraft. Then I also went over it with the Annabelle Big Show Lip Shine. Um, I might just put another coat on just to show you because it's such a nice little gloss. Then for mascara, I went in with my CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. This one is a brand spanking new one, so it was so satisfying to use. It just felt so fresh and didn't clump my eyelashes. I noticed when it's starting to get a little old or empty, it starts clumping, so this one is brand new and it was so nice. Alright guys, so this is the end result. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a happy New Year's Eve. Make sure that if you are going out and drinking that you get a safe ride home and just have a happy and fun night. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next year. Mwah!